No good today, bro. All right, that's all I got for you today. I wasn't feeling it. Tomorrow's another day. Today's in the past. You gotta remember that. It's all about the reps. True enough. I'll catch you, bro. Hey, Candice. Hey, good to see you, MP. So thanks for reaching out to me, and I'm honored that you've chosen me to talk about this. Oh, look, I respect how you approach things, and you were the person to tell this story. Oh, I, I appreciate that. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, so there's this rumored list <laughs> about your preferred trade destinations that's circulating on social media. Is that a legitimate list? Yeah, it's true. Hey, I told my agent where I wanted to go and to give me that as soon as possible. Look, I need to be somewhere where I'm appreciated for who I am and not for who someone else wants me to be. It's just that simple. Okay, well, any concern that going public with your trade demands might alienate the fans? <laughs> not really. Look, my real fans, the ones that... Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Anything else you want to share with me today? Um, I think that's good for today, don't you? I think so. I got plenty. Thanks so much, MP. Hey, look, I'll see you soon, Candice. All right.
And it's going to be the Spurs off the tip. Oh, here we are, January 1st. Grant, do players who are struggling ever feel like the New Year symbolizes a fresh start? No. <laughs> the New Year is definitely an exciting time to celebrate, as we all do. But I think that doesn't come around until maybe the All-Star break, which is a little bit past the halfway point. And really, at that point, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, the Rookie of the Month winner for each conference has been announced, and MP will be taking home the hardware. And with the month he had, this is certainly deserved. At the beginning of the season, some of us were wondering if he had the right focus, but he's shown all of us he's got the dedication, the skill, and the talent for the NBA. Now here's Williams, taking command on offense when they need him, putting up 21 a game. The rebound by the Spurs. It's Johnson with a drive. Outside Murray. Pass to Pirtle. Hook loose. Outside Murray. Four on the clock. And it's Murray finishing it off. You know, they give him the ball and let him quarterback the pick and roll, which speaks, I think, to how confident they are in Murray, guys. Here's Williams. It's, uh, that shot is off. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Last two. game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. And their body language was unimpressive. They looked defeated much of the night. And because two. of it, they took the L. Yeah, they looked distracted, far off. I needed that. I wanted that. Shakes him. Help. Again, the Spurs score. You know, he's really capable from no. mid-range. This is not happening right from there, before. The more of a threat he'll be and the more well-rounded offensively he'll be. Oh, Here's White. Tight defense on him. That one misses. He's one for three. The Pistons have gone only one of five so far. And you talk to anyone about White. Grant, they'll tell you he's best when he's being assertive. I told you. I mean, White can be one of the round when he's not involved. You want him initiating a pick and roll, and he makes pretty good decisions. Now, he may never be a star, but he's going to give you solid minutes. Now, here's Murray. Where are you going? Markham's Clint. Maybe Thompson and Silver. Oh no, help! Murray, <laughs> give him that type of opportunity. You're asking for trouble. He is a strong finisher. Murray against Williams. Over Murray. Williams shot. Come on, man. Williams has got five points. They grant some of the more wild news with this team. MP very much confirmed that he's unhappy and wants of course. to dodge. NBA, if anyone was wondering how serious MP is about getting traded, the man actually listed his preferred Take destinations as bold a move as any of I've course, ever seen. Man, I don't, I don't always, like this team. He can't. A threat to come away with offensive rebounds because of his size, but just as important, his time. Can get none done. Can't. Man. That's his first foul. It's not a team. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Stewart. Watch, watch this. Out to the right wing. Hits Can't even cut Johnson. in. See? Come on now. And the defense took full advantage. They kick it out to Murray. Gets the three ball to go. Yep. He's got nine. Of course. Well, you know, that part of Murray's game has to be there for him, and I know how hard he's worked to improve his three-point shooting. Good to see. Williams in the post. Defended by Murray. Outside, Williams. Over Murray. It's off oh. the back of the rim. No good. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. And a foul called on the way up. Two for six. One for two. Shoot for San A lot of different things for you. First spur to do that since Tim Duncan in 2000 post a 20, 10, and 8 mark. 
Seven Murray still flies a little under the radar, Clark. Well, some of that is he's still relatively young in his career. He only played one year of college ball, B.A., and it also has to do with his consistency. Oh. He's a bit streaky as a shooter, and sometimes when the shot isn't there, he starts pressing a bit at both ends of the floor. <laughs> Yo, he is getting killed. Coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now, here's Williams. He's got five. Here's Stewart. Can I get a foul? Knocked loose. It's yep. stolen by Johnson. Out of bounds. It'll be Pistons ball. Olenek okay. checked in for the Pistons. Substitution. Detroit has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Here's Williams. Oh, Come on. no. Wow. What? Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. Murray from outside. Rebound yeah. by Olenek. The Pistons shooting just 25% from the field in the first quarter. Screen by Olenek. Here's Williams. Oh, and there's the Take whistle on the from. shot. He made sure to get his money's worth on that. Yeah, I don't know why my thing is not. So for the Pistons. Lyles comes in for Grant, and it's Jackson in for Bay. And San Antonio with a change here, too. Bates Diop, he's checked in for Johnson. Williams. And one. And so uh -oh. Yeah, okay. One more. Right, All right, guys, a breakdown here of the hustle stats for the Spurs. Well, oh, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. The other thing they've done well is getting after shooters. They've closed well and have a lot of blocks at half because of it. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the Cut. And they are landing some no. makers now. Detroit with the ball. Following the bucket by the Spurs. Six to shoot. Pass to Jackson. Over McDermott. Jackson yeah, can't yeah, get yeah, it to go. Whatever. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. To the paint. Here's Collins. Hellenic. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. the assist. Collins has gotten his second bucket. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Tipped away. Murray with it. Guarded now by Williams. Murray against Olenek. Three Pass damn turnovers. Oh, and he got fouled on his way. Three off. damn turnovers. Three. Three of them. That's his first personal foul. Joseph. Nineteen and thirty-eight. The Spurs shooting continues Ooh. to impress. 65% from the field. So on the floor for San Antonio. They've got Lonnie Walker. Also Derek White out there. Thaddeus Young out there with Keldon Johnson. And it's Samanich in at the four. And the jam Lonnie by Walker. Walker. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. Hey, guess what? Mission accomplished. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one play. Okay, about time. Contributions wow. from everybody. What nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward, but he just never gives up. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Here's Jackson. The Spurs making their last shot. Stewart, the screen on Walker. Williams into the lane. Stewart, the pass to Williams. Shoots over Young. It's hauled in by Samanich. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage in. As a result, they've got a big lead. And the Pistons shooting 32% for this game, not what they're hoping for. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Knicks played some superb basketball. He ended up with 26 points, and plus, he nabbed a couple boards. A surprise effort from a guy who typically plays a smaller role. We'll see if he can keep building the momentum. Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. Yeah, you know, every night's different. They may try to double him, might force him to adjust, 
or force him to make plays with the pass instead. We'll see. Now here's Jackson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And the call will be against Derek White. That's foul number two for him. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Williams from long range. Connects from downtown. Williams has got 11 points. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. To the inside, Johnson. And he converts the layup. And the Spurs lead by 20. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Blocked. Tries again. Inside. Here's Samanich. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Young's got three assists in the game. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Now here's Williams. 26 points for him last game against New York. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. White against Williams. There's the block. The fadeaway. That one falls. 13 points in the game. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway. Take the shot that's available. Now here's Walker. He has six. With the fadeaway. No good. A bit long that time. Good idea with the fadeaway. But the defense was just all over it. The kick out to Williams. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. Up top, White. Williams defending. And the call will be against Derek White. Derek White, his third personal foul. First team foul. Excellent example of to toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Cunningham's checked in for Jackson. Hurdles checked in for San Antonio. Now here's Williams. He's got 15. And he drives in. Shot clock at five. The Pistons need to get one up quick. Cunningham missing. The Spurs have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Johnson passes to Walker. Hey, great D that time from Grant. Detroit has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Love the shooting Walker provides. When he's hot, Clark, he can carry this offense in short stretches. Well, B.A., you know every team can use a microwave score. And Walker is just getting started. Plenty of upside still to tap. Now, here's Williams. Grant finds Williams. Here's Cunningham. Detroit, no good that time either. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Pretty and rough, but that's how you win games. Just magnificent. I mean, he punishes the D for lackluster effort. They look a little disorganized there. The result is an emphatic jam. Guys, there has to be better rim protection than that, though. Not very good. White for three. The rebound by Stewart. Stewart's got four rebounds now. Outside, Williams. Again, the miss by the Pistons. The Spurs shooting it well, around 55% for the game. Johnson passes to Pirtle. To the middle. That's his second foul of the first half. Not a big deal yet. Substitution on the court. That's the end of the first half. Put the score. Your Pistons. On what? The score. 16 2.
And for the Pistons, they're shooting only 35% so far. Cunningham and Bay, the wing pair. Isaiah Stewart out there with Jeremy Grant. And it's Williams in at the point guard position. That's the five on the floor. You can stretch the floor, Clark. If you were playing today, what kind of three-point shooter do you think you'd be? Well, I wasn't that great back in my career because it wasn't a shot that many teams used a lot, but I would have worked on it to become proficient at it, so I think I would have been a 40% three-point shooter, 35 to 40% given time to work on it, B.A. You adapt to the times, and I was actually already starting to work on my three-point game before my injuries took me out of the league. Boy, it's been all Murray all day, 24-7. He's really become a lethal offensive presence. MP is doubled. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Murray. It's two on one. The pull up. Here's Pirtle. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Pirtle's got six. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Here's Cunningham. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And he got the whistle on the way. Take a photo. For a pair. That's his second personal foul. And the first one at the line is good. At the line for Detroit. Williams. And Williams drops them both. And if you're just joining us, we've played just over a minute here in the third. Pass to Pirtle. Back to Murray. To the wing, right side. And the three-pointer goes. 16 points for him. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Murray. Screen by Young. Murray with it. Guarded by Stewart. And he's going to the line for two. Isaiah Stewart. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the spur. Just wonder how good can this kid become? He's perfect from the line this time. And it's really incredible the number of ways Murray can affect a game. I mean, I totally agree, B.A. I mean, he creates for himself and others. One of the best rebounders in the league at his position. And boy, is he disruptive on defense. Williams against Murray. Clock at six. Williams misses. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. The kick out to White. The three ball. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got three assists tonight. You know, we know Murray's got some creativity to his passing game, but no need to be creative there. I mean, he sees the wide open man and zips it right to him. Stewart, the pass to Williams. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. That one on Murray. No good on that one. Walker, he's checked in for San Antonio. And he's good on the second. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Pass to Johnson. Murray against Williams. And it's Murray finishing it off. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Now here's Williams. 20 points for him. Again, the miss by the Pistons. He has to make that one. I mean, you have to make the defense pay when they slough off of you like that. Murray, it's not going to go for him. Now the Pistons take it the other way. Here's Cunningham. Rebounded by the Spurs. Johnson. He's got six rebounds now in the game. It's just been a brutal outing for him. He still hasn't managed to make a shot. And the team is struggling because of it. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. 
Thanks, Brian. Jeremy Grant, the 39th pick back in 2014, has become a leader for the Pistons. He said, I'm enjoying it. I want to be a lot better, and I want to keep growing. I don't want to be stagnant. I just want to embrace the role and help the team get better from here. Well, he's got all the tools to be a complete player, Alex. No question. Nice shot by Walker. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just ask him to get burned if you do. Williams from long range. And Young pulls it down. Young's got four rebounds in the game. Outside Walker. Back to Young. I got him, I got him. Here's Murray. It's rebounded by Grant. Grant's got six rebounds here tonight. Outside, Williams. On the wing, Bay. From the baseline. Rebounded by the Spurs. Young's got a rebound number five here tonight. Here's Walker. And it's rejected. Well, he's an incredible athlete. You can just see that using his vertical and his reach on the defensive end. Outstanding block. To the left wing. And here's Cunningham outside. Rebounded by the Spurs. On offense, here is San Antonio. They're on a 19-5 run. Young finds Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. Williams from long range. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, he was one step late that time. So for the Pistons, Olenix checked in for Grant, and it's Lee in for Williams. Samanich is checked in for San Antonio. Jones comes in for Murray. Pass to Young. The shot, no good. And it's Detroit the other way. Bay outside. Here's Lee. Back to Bay. Six on the shot clock. Here's Lee. No. Checked in for Young. Collins comes in for Johnson. McDermott's checked in for Walker. And it's Bates Diop in for Jones. So on the floor for San Antonio. Jakob Pertl out there with Zach Collins. Then there's Doug McDermott. And it's Bates Diop in at the one. Here's Samanich. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. Williams on the wing. Well, your seven seconds or less sons really paved the way for the pace and space style that we see throughout the league today, Grant. You know, B.A. it really did. But, you know, it's interesting. I think there were those back then that thought it was kind of gimmicky. <laughs> but, boy, has it changed. And I, I feel like we could have had more success if we had just gone all in on that approach. Here's Bates Diop. Pass to Collins. To the wing on the left. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. A great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. You know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. And the Pistons making a change here. Jackson is checked in. White, he's checked in for San Antonio. Murray comes in for Pirtle. Detroit has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Jackson, the pass to Williams. Here's the three. San Antonio with a rebound. 144 left to play in the fourth. Out to the wing. Here's Samanich. Three-pointer off the mark. Pistons shooting just around 36%. Not the best execution. Over to the wing. Stewart finds Williams. He can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Collins. Smooth sailing for San Antonio. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Spurs. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. 
I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And this will get marked down as their 16th win of the year. And this win gives them a sweep of the season series. They only met twice, but they'll have bragging rights for at least another year against Detroit. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for DeJounte Murray. Boy, he was absolutely relentless at the offensive end, guys. Smelled blood and went for it. And the Spurs with possession here after the Pistons picking up a basket just moments ago. Murray, no good. Outside, Williams. Over Murray. Oh, another miss by MP. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. White against Williams. Now here's White. And so it's San Antonio. That's the end of the game.